Well, back in New Zealand in the late 70s, this guy was a bit of a pop star with a bunch of hits and a non-stop touring schedule. Well, then it was our turn here to get wild and reckless. And now, almost 40 years later, we're opening up the time capsule, bringing his music back for a whole new generation to enjoy. Just like magic, he appears, and everybody, please welcome back Richard Wilde is back, Whoa! everybody. After a long time, where have you been? I feel a bit like Bill Nye in Love Actually. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I mean, you're re-releasing all this amazing music. Tell us all about it and well, why is it happening? Well, good, very good question. <laughs> Look, I was in Abbey Road uh, for the 50th anniversary of that with the Universal people there, and they said, you know, we own all your old stuff, your back catalogue, with Polygram and Polydor and Phonogram, it's all mm. now Universal. They said, we should do something with it. I mean, yeah, yeah, that'd be great. And moved on. And a couple of months ago, they said, well, you know, we've... They, We've got all this stuff, let's do something with it. And um, so I sort of went along with it. This was the first ever commercial song I released in uh, New Zealand, Here for a Good Time, um, which they put in nice... It became a bit of a motto for you, what didn't it, that song? <laughs> well, it was six years, you know, there, um, and including Australia, including New Zealand and Australia. But anyway, we've put them all out. The, the good thing for me was we found a song in the, in the basement of Dave Skinner, who was the producer who played a little bit with Phil Manzanera and Roxy Music, Tommy Emmanuel, ah. guitars and stuff. And they remixed it and I hated it and that turned out to be my last single. But we've actually found it, restored it and put it on How the How is album. it now? Do you like it now? I like it a lot. You like yeah. it <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Oates playing sax who played with your dad oh and the chisels God. and everybody. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel watching back those old clips? I, I swear to God I have not seen some of those clips for years. This, we did this one at the Sydney airport. It felt like a pretty big deal at the time. <laughs> uh, I should remind people that this was way before MTV and all that when video clips out were the norm. So we were sort of, you know. On this one is extraordinary too, because people don't know it at home, but Dickie, you, on this one you crash a plane but keep I singing. I yes. do, yeah. <laughs> not, not easy to do, David. Um, but yeah, we, we went flying, we had models and everything. We're standing out there at the airport. It was good. I, mem I remember this song getting played on Triple M and we thought, this yeah, is it, yeah. we're away. Game on. Yeah. yeah. We wasted many hours watching all these old clips mm -hmm. yesterday. Not wasted because it was just so <laughs> Well I was addressing the nation on your behalf doing it. <laughs> that yeah. is actually true and we're out watching you guys. It's so it was so it's awesome lovely. to watch I mean you even performed on Countdown We did yeah we had a song called Young Heroes that uh, looked like it was going to do alright Molly was very gracious we played play it on Countdown. You want to have a look? Yeah we yeah. Have, a look. have a look It's exactly the same. It's like it's never. Look at this. Look, he's back. Yeah, not much is true. <laughs> <laughs> Christian, my son, still plays that song when we have pool parties at the home. Oh, that's, and you know, it's a banger. That one actually, that slaps. Yeah. So tell me, uh, you just mentioned Christian, and we know he's here giving you some moral support today, <laughs> but what do the kids think when the video clips come out and the music gets played? Well, they haven't seen that. I don't sit at home playing oh, all that really? stuff. Off. No, goodness me. I no. thought Friday night, you'd be like, remember this? Dad used to look at this. Yeah. And they get the violin. Come here, Dad. Well, see, this stuff's been restored. I just had it, you know, on bits and pieces. And, uh, do you even remember some of this? I don't remember. I forgot completely about this song. Will you called, appear out of nowhere? It was written by R Russ Ballard, this song. Um, you know, had Argent and all that mm. stuff. Oh, OK. Really, yeah, look at that video. Remember when they used to... Yeah, like, uh, blame it on the sunshine. Shoot, shoot it's the a little like psychedelic, wasn't it? It was, um, was the 70s. It was indeed the <laughs> 70s. Well, before you were even born, Ali. Uh, no, look, I'm I don't a 70s think you can see baby. behind you, but one of our favourite <laughs> 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 favorite headlines is behind you. I don't know if we can see it, but it says, Richard is a, a wild, wild fiddler. fiddler. <laughs> wasn't he, just, eh? Because you love a, <laughs> you love a bit of violin. Well, I threw a bit of violin on there. Yeah, okay. I was classically trained. So okay, go forward. down. No, go, go down, down and down across. The, it's just right over your left hang shoulder. On, hang on, oh, I'm go just, there you go. I'm just gonna... There it is. There we got it. Go. Oh, you got it? Yeah, we got it right there. 
<laughs> Thank you. OK, we all saw it. I Thank feel you, that Ali. needs context. Very good. It does need because he's a fantastic violinist. Wow. Uh, you played with Andre Rieu. I, I did. Yeah, I played with Andre Rieu and, uh, and this stuff as well. So. Yeah, I mean, you. it's so great to see this stuff. And it's lovely to have it all come out. What about if this goes really well, are we going to see a tour? Mm. Uh, no, I shan't be putting the band back together. Shan't? I shan't be playing live, and I can't sing that high anymore. So. Oh, I <laughs> no, know. Look, but that's, you just get backup singers to do the high bits for you. Is that how it works? Yeah, yeah that's what sure. happens. That's yeah. what happens. You have, to, you, you have to, Dickie. You have to take to this on the show. No. You have to do a one-off charity concert. The nice thing is that, uh, you know, the grandkids will actually have all the stuff. What if we place. get a super band together? I had like a super band there. How do you top that? I don't know. We just ask everyone that we all know. We have yeah. to do one night for a charity somewhere, maybe a gold dinner or something like that. And you are the and we put together a super band. I sent, yes. I sent Keith that long lost uh, urban. Oh, you want to start at the top? Sure, we'll start with <laughs> Keith. No, I, I sent him that track <laughs> and he really liked it. I was so thinking more. Well, let's nice. start with a drummer that maybe we know, but let's go straight to Keith and the car. No, no, no. Mm. Um, <laughs> yeah. So look, it's exciting. The grand that wasn't kids a are going to hear this stuff. It wasn't a no. Was it? So when is this all going to be released? Uh, it's out on the 18th of June. So we're announcing it today here for a good time is available mm. um, and uh, you know that's available today the album the was wild that years. who was that I mean who's who we got here this is oh so I good. love it uh, it's so good ramp up bit more noise bit more... Is this the new song that's, uh, that's no, there's nothing new here <laughs> oh. <laughs> We love it. And Richard Wilde's single here for a good time is available now. And the album The Wild Years, <laughs> as he just so said. Great. I, love it. Oh, oh, Petey, I have Petey. to have it. Oh, it's out that. on June 18. We love it, Dickie. Thank you. Thank you. So Thank you. Thank you. I'll hold you to that concert idea. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have more right after this. <laughs> no, we're I'll do some BVs. You, mate. Yeah. No, you. Yeah. Together. I'll, I'll, I'll happily join in on that concert.